gorgeous Christmas scene card for you today. Really, really pretty. And there's a couple little cheats I thought I'd show you. Really easy to do too. The dies that we'll be using for today's card are the winter trees from our festive collection, the Santa sleigh, and the lavish accented design from our noble dies. We're going to use that as a frame. Set these to the side. And I'm going to be using the smoothies to do a bit of inking too because they give a beautiful finish. Right, so let's get started. The first thing I've done is I've just cut um, a circle, just a basic circle, used a punch to do that. And I've used a little bit of um, removable adhesive to put it in place. And this is going to act as our moon, okay? Pop that right there. I'm using uh, Stormy Sky Distress Ink. And we're going to use our smoothie. So we're just going to pick up a little bit of that ink. And I like to kind of tap it in the center just to kind of get the excess ink off, kind of work it outward from there. I'm going to just do a little bit of tapping, a little bit of rubbing. You can do a little bit of both, smooth out that color. Now just take your time and work outward from that. And I'm going to kind of create the uh, illusion of that moon coming this direction, so dragging it a little bit. There we go, and let's get a tiny bit on this side too. Let's drag it. And that mask is just going to create a void where that moon's going to be. There we go, that's looking nice. So it's kind of a slow process. You want to build up the ink don't, um, don't try and rush it too much. And you get a really nice, lovely look from that. Pull it a little bit more here. And the smoothie will give you a nice, soft um, uh, fill in. You won't have any hard edges. There we go. I think that'll work. So now we're going to remove that. Just peel that back. You can rub away the extra bit of um, adhesive. Clean that up. And I'm going to do a little bit of stamping. I've got my Peace on Earth stamp. Bring in my black archival ink. I'm going to ink this up just by tapping over the top. There we go. And I want it to kind of go into that a little bit. Lean over, apologize. There we go. Give it a little rock. There, how pretty is that? So that started to create the background for our card, okay? Now I find it, it's a little bit easier to do the center of the frame and then work out from that. If you're confident enough, you can do a bigger section, but I'm gonna do it this way to begin. Now I've got one I've already pre-stamped that's all nice and dry, so I'm gonna use that one. Next, we're gonna cut our frame. So I'm gonna bring in my dies here and let's get our plates. Tape everything nicely into place. So I've got the large, the deboss ring here, and the two cutting edges. So let me just line them up, and I'll put a little bit of tape and work inward and get them all nice and straight. Pop that into place, and I think I can catch that one too. We'll do both sides. And actually, what I want to do is do my embossing first on this. So I'm pop that onto my embossing plate and run that through. That center ring is just a deboss ring. It doesn't cut. So we want to make sure we're going to get a nice impression on that. Okay. So now we can move this over and pick it up on the cut plate. I tend to leave it in place so it doesn't squish, but you can take it out. And because the center deboss ring is in place, you might have to have more than one pass. So let's just take a quick look. No, I think we've got it. Just undo it. And there we go. Pop that back into place. And there we go. So you can see how pretty that looks. Now I've got one with mounting foam already on the back, so I'm going to use that those back onto our magnetic sheets. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to bring this over and I've done some of the winter trees ahead of time. Now what I've done is I've gone ahead and what I call sugaring them. I've put some um, dry clear glue 
and the ice snow crystal uh, glitter jewels on them. Let them dry overnight. So I'm going to just pop them into place with some glue on the back. Just give it a quick couple little dots on the back here. And I want to have like a bigger one coming right off the edge of that moon. That'll work. And let's pop a couple of, let's see, let's use this one here. No, nope, let's use this one here off to the side. We're going to trim these so they won't show from, from beneath the frame. We'll have that coming across the top, just right outside of that. Right there. And now I'm going to put the frame on and I'll add some little trees in around it too. Okay, so some mounting foam I've put on the back of the frame. There we go. Just to raise it up for some nice dimension. Peel the backings off of all of those. Since I'm probably going to catch some of these tips, in fact, I'll tell you what I will probably do. Let's take, nip this one away because it probably will not show. There we go. I can add a little bit of glue on the back just to make sure it's nice and secure. It's always a good idea. Pop that right over that. There we go. Give that a second and we're going to add in some other little trees while we're going. A little bit of glue. I'll pop this one right down there. Just kind of fill that one in. A couple more small ones here and just arrange them so they kind of overlap a little bit if you like. And this one will work. There we go. I'm pop that on top. I like the way that looks. Okay, so I'm going to trim away the excess from beneath my frame. Here. Now I've gone ahead and done this frame and the inside of this separate to the background, even though it kind of melds into one, only because I think it's easier to line up the sentiment inside the frame rather than trying to do a whole background piece and getting it straight. Okay, so bring our other piece over. We're going to use this in the background, so I'm going to bring back my stormy skies. Do a little bit of inking. We'll just kind of work from inside the edge there. Bring that same kind of color all the way across. A little bit heavier in the corners. There we go. Just keep smoothing it out. It's a really lovely color for the sky. There we go, kind of work it down to the edge there. We're going to hide that edge with some more trees. And let's just check and see how we're doing. I think that's probably going to work just about right. So good with that. Okay, so next let's bring in some more trees. We're going to add those to the sides. So I'll pop that one right down here in the corner, even off the edge just ever so slightly. And let's see, we've got a couple more here we'll use. That's already got some mounting foam on it. Put this one down in this corner here. And then we'll bring our frame over. I'm going to add some glue to the back. that into place real nicely. Give that a second. And I've got one more tree that I've added some mounting foam to and I'm going to pop that on top of the frame in the corner here. Just because I like the continuity of that. There we go. And let's put that onto our base piece. So I've gone ahead, done my usual paper piercing around the edge. I've got a black mat to tie in. And I'm just going to center this onto the white mat behind. There we go. That's looking really nice. Now, gorgeous, just like that. I love it, but we also need to have a Santa. So I've cut one of the little Santa sleighs. I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on both ends here. And he's going to just be coming up around the edge of this frame. Just love the way that looks. There you go. 
How easy is that? And I think that's such a stunning card. Wouldn't you love to receive a card like that? And there you go. I've got so many more wonderful videos for you to watch on our Creative Expressions YouTube channel. So I hope you'll join me there again soon.